If you would like to see how I set up my daily go-getter girl planner, stay tuned! <laughs> What's up y'all? It's your girl Shamiza, also known as the Curvy African Planner here on YouTube and on Instagram. If you are new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope I do this video justice. And if you're one of my OGs, thank you, thank you, thank you for being here with me today. So I am setting up uh, Wednesday and Thursday in my Go Getter Girl scalloped disc daily planner. That's a mouthful. <laughs> and the stickers that I'm going to be using are Colorful Animal, Modern Wild, and Colorful Leopard from the Happy Planner. And I'm also going to be using these two beautiful dolls from Verse Planning. And these dolls are from their For the Culture 2.0 release. Um, I think... Some of these dolls individually might still be available on First Planning's website, um, and I will link the website and my code down below in the description box um, because I am a brand ambassador for First Planning, and I would truly, truly appreciate if you ever used my code when ordering from them. Okay, let's jump right in. So, normally... When I do, um, when I do decorating for my dailies, I normally do like each page separately. So none of my pages really, I can show you some here. None of my pages really, um, look the same. Like they're always quite different. I didn't really do I missed a few days, which happens, but I don't, like, they're always different. Everything's different. For these two pages specifically, for Wednesday and Thursday, I wanted to kind of do something together to bring the two pages together. So let's see how this goes. I'm not entirely sure how this is going to turn out, but we're about to try it. So let's do it. I have been trying to film this video literally all day long. Um... I'm really excited to say that I am just about done school. I have a few last minute things that I need to submit, but then I'm done. And then I'm taking a well-deserved break because y'all, I freaking need it. Um, it is not easy doing school and having a newborn or an infant. Um, it's been difficult, so. Okay, let's talk about how I want this to work so i'm thinking of using um i don't know if i want to use two of the same dolls or one in one i mean if i use two they're both looking at different um in different directions and it would kind of bring it together or i could use one of each Maybe, okay, let's try one of each. Now, y'all know that I am obsessed with the decorated spine. I'm looking for this and I want to put that down the spine. So let's start with that. Now, I always say that I will never cover up a spine again because sometimes it's really difficult to, um, to then repunch it. Like I always struggle with it. But then here we are doing it again. So can it really be that bad? <laughs> okay. Um, I, for those of you who are new to my channel, I am obsessed with anything and everything leopard print. Anything and everything. Clothes, um, shoes, like whatever I can get my hands on, you better believe I'm buying it. If it has a leopard print, I will not think twice. Um, I'm so obsessed with it that I even bought baby some matching outfits that have the leopard print on them simply because it had the leopard print on them. <laughs> okay, so that is 
the spine. I like how it is looking so far. Um, I think it's the Modern Wild book that has the black leopard print, I think. Maybe I'm mistaken. Maybe it's back in this colorful one. Oh yeah, it's in the colorful one. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is, if you've seen like my Instagram, you'll notice that I don't really use like the timestamp. And then I change up these boxes. One box really houses like what I eat during the day. And then the other box houses my watch stats. So... I am trying this new thing where I'm actually like covering it up and then just putting down boxes wherever I see fit. So let's start with this doll first. And I want to put, because she already has the brown leopard print, so like the black behind it would look so good, I think, or will it not? Because I know the black would look really good behind this one. So I wonder if I should do... Okay, so here I am pulling out my Pineberry reusable sticker book. Because I can put that off to the side for a quick second. And then I can... So I'm just going to lift this off. Oops. There's that Pineberry sticker. <laughs> Okay, um, ah. the struggles, the struggle is real, oh my god. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I would like to put this here and maybe have this like right behind her, I think is what I want to do. So I'm going to just kind of stick it on there together and then I want one at the bottom. So I just need to open that book and find another one for the bottom, which is right here. Okay. So this one, I kind of want to go like that. Okay. So now, I don't know how I always get myself into trouble like this, but it's fine. We live and we learn. Okay, I'm going to get some white out, and I'm going to white out, let's see here, let's put this down for a second, we'll white out from 7, normally I take my Uniball Signal white gel pen, but I mean most of this is going to be covered up anyway, so it doesn't really matter, and then... and then we just have to cover up the bottom part and I am then going to stick this right underneath just maybe like that so then I will then take my Uniball Signal pen And I will just color in the part here that says habit. And not today. And then intention. So sometimes if I do cover up, like if my stickers cover up the intentions part, then so be it. Sometimes they don't. And on the days that they're not covered I then just like I use it and I write down my intention for the day um otherwise I catch my intention of the day in the weekly spread that I have from go getter girl um and then I'll kind of just like write down what my intention is on that day so the only issue with this is you want to let it dry just a little before you stick in anything like any stickers down because it does move around the pen. There you go. Okay. 
I like that. I'll cut off all the excess stuff when we're just about done with the spread. Okay, then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and grab some boxes. We can put this one over here. And then I can just write down all the things that I need to get done. This one here. And then what I'm going to do is, okay, we'll get back to that, but I'm going to cut this part off and do some sticker surgery and I'll show you how I do that. And then we can put this one here. And I could probably write like two things in each section. And then we'll go back in with this color right over here and the darker color which is right here and we'll put it down over here okay so that's there now i just need something to fill in this area right here I'll use this sticker right here that says this is the day and it actually fits perfectly in there okay so far so good um, next are these two boxes here and I'm thinking I want to somehow incorporate like these boxes so sometimes like I don't know I like these ones better maybe we can do something like that and put but that only leaves me room for one let's see put that's not even straight that's gonna bother me so we're gonna lift that back up and hope that it doesn't <laughs> lift my paper and the funny thing is is that I have okay yeah we're gonna call for some reinforcements <laughs> and the reinforcements are gonna help us so one thing I actually learned, I can't remember whose video I was watching, but one thing I actually learned was that this is actually, like, this thing here is actually meant to help you scrape the sticker off. I didn't realize that, actually. Um, I know it looks a little scary, but don't worry, because it's going to dry, and then this will become re-sticky really again. I'm just going to wait for it to dry off so that it becomes sticky again. And then this part here that is lifted, I'm going to just um, grab my glue stick and just kind of re-stick it back down. Even though it's actually going to be covered, so it doesn't really matter. But let's just stick it back down. Because nothing, you know, nothing, there's nothing that happens that isn't able to be fixed. So I just wanted to show you guys how I do it. Okay, so as you can see, it's starting to dry off. And now this sticker has become sticky again. So we can lay it down straight this time. <laughs> I'm just going to use this line as like a guide. And there we are. It's like nothing ever happened. <laughs> okay, so we're going to do the same thing with this sticker. These two right here. And... Same sort of deal. So this one I think I'll do on top. Maybe do it the same way. Just like that. And then cover it this way, like so. Okay. I like that. I like the way it's looking. Okay, so now there is some empty space here. And I'm not like a huge fan of empty space. 
So I am going to find something to put something that's a little smaller. Actually, there are these really great um, washi strips that say stuff on them. So let's add this one that says coffee is power. And we'll put that one right here. I like that. And then this one says crushing it. So we can put that one up here. Okay. And then I do need um let me see here. I do need like a little actually here this is what I'm going to do so I don't have a lot of like black boxes right and that's okay because I've used them all up so what I'm going to do instead is I'm going to take I don't have it in oh actually I'm going to take this marker that I have here and it's called Heathrone so one side is like a brush pen and one side is the fine side like a fine line so I'm just going to take my ruler and I'm going to use the fine line side and I'm just going to make a little line right over here, just like so, and then one up here, like so. And so that's where I'll write down like what each box is going to house. And then in this box here, I like to write down quotes from at 365 positive dot days i love their daily quotes and i love being able to open my planner and like see that so i'm excited it looks like there's a lot happening but i'm actually okay with it i actually quite like it okay now let's work on this side it took so much time working on that one okay so did i put i did okay i'm just gonna grab this one here and i'm gonna do it opposite so this the way i had the doll on this side on this page i'm gonna put her on this side on this page and i want this to be in the back but i still want to be able to um use this to write my quote of the day in so we'll leave it like that and then we'll go in and look for some more boxes okay we're gonna go in with these boxes here and bring some color into it so let's get this box the black ones this is what happens when i don't like pre-plan what i want to do and i'm just like just going right up like it is what it is okay <laughs> so i'm gonna wipe this out and i'm gonna add this in the back over here and then I'm going to use this to like cover it up and I might just go in just a little bit. Okay. And then to bring some color, because we said that we would bring some color into this because I don't just want it to be like black. Um, we're going to go in and we're going to cover this, this, and we're just going to lay this like so and we're going to add this box right over here okay and then we're going to lay this guy down like so but I'm, i might cut it off there and we'll add in this gray box right over like that and then 
we'll find something to cover. Um, whether it's like a washi strip or something cute. One right over here and that covers up some space. And then for these two, we can just use the Uniball Signo pen and just take out what we don't want. And then this one down here. And then in one of them, I actually saw like a quote, a longer quote. Um, I just have to find it. Actually, this one. Be anything but predictable. I think it might be too long. Or maybe I can put it in the intentions part. Okay, so that's the intention. Be anything but predictable. And then we can use these washies with like quotes on them. And to bring some color, we can choose this one right here that says, find your wild. So it kind of ties in the pink. Okay, now the last thing I need to do is I need to add two boxes over here. You can use these brown stickers and literally cover up these right here and then still make use of that way I don't have to add a box in so I can still use this section and this section okay I like it I'm digging it okay so um I've used oh look I emptied another sheet that's so exciting okay so I think I think the oh I think that might be it. So now I'm gonna take my paper cutter, okay, line it up so that it matches. Give it, oh, totally did not match up the way I needed it to, shoot. All right, that's okay. We'll make it work. I will go in with my crocodile punch. This takes me the longest. And because I've literally covered up all of the holes, I'm gonna use scissors to cut the first one so that it helps me guide the rest. So we're just going to pop these right back into the rings. And that that is the finished look I am obsessed with the way it turned out I love it awesome I am so sorry that this was such a long video um, editing was so much fun if I've done this video justice, please do give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and that post notification button so that you guys know every single time that I upload and know that I am so, so grateful for you guys um, for being here and for supporting me in this and for giving me that push of confidence that I need in order to do these videos because sometimes it's not really easy. So thank you guys. I appreciate it so much. We will catch you guys in the next video. Take care. Bye.